What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Grayson Abigail Jimra Flor and I am second year college student with a course of Bachelor of Elementary Education. So for my instructional material, I choose Diorama. So what is Diorama? So when we talk about Diorama, Diorama is a model representing a scene of three-dimensional figures or a miniature of a large-scale museum exhibit. Also, diorama comes from the Greek word dia, which means through, across, by, over, and harama, which means view to look through something. And now, let me show you my video on how I make my diorama. And after that, I will explain it to you why I choose diorama for my instructional material. So let's get to it. Materials needed. Printed pictures. Construction paper. Scissor. Stick glue. Masking tape. Lighter. Glue. Barbecue stick. Candle. Styrofoam. Cartoon. Hi everyone and for today's video, we're going to cut these printed pictures using this scissor. So the concept in making my diorama is about the solar system because we all know that children naturally love learning about the solar system. The sun, the moon, the stars, the eight planets are fascinating to both small children who see stars twinkle in the night sky at night and older children who begin to ask harder questions such as, are there are other planets with life? or are there are other planets like ours so using this combination of illustrations books this video that i made using this diorama this will help the children to memorize better just like starting with a when teaching the alphabet so using this a diorama this will help my students to visualize how the solar system works, what are the eight planets, consist of the sun and everything bound to it by gravity. The planets like Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, and also the dwarf planets such as the Pluto or the dozens of moons and millions of asteroids, comets, and meteorites. So the importance in making this diorama is to let my students understand where we came from and where we are going and how physics works under conditions which are impossible to recreate on earth. And this uh, model will uh, use by the students either grade 6 or the preschoolers. So the number one purpose of this diorama is to make lesson interesting, learning easy and enable teachers to easily express the concepts. And also these learning materials can significantly increase the learner's achievement by supporting learning. So this is the final result of my diorama. So why I choose diorama for my instructional material? So I choose diorama for my instructional material because Diorama can be used throughout all levels of education because they pinpoint a moment of learning and show deeper levels of understanding. And also, dioramas can be also used in real-world setting as a problem solvers. So overall, dioramas are a fun, 
and also creative way to create a three-dimensional project and also as a future teacher um, we have different types of learners and it is a very um, good most specifically to the visual learners because they like to see view pictures like graphs and maps or everything that have been presented so that they can uh, communicate with the ideas and thoughts that be presented by the teacher itself so also the diorama um, illustrates the events of history and also the plot of the story and makes the classroom more creative and also innovative in which our lessons could be able to participate and being active in the classroom discussion so that's why i choose a diorama as my instructional material